I'm Robert Fuller, wildlife artist and filmmaker. And I'm here at the lodge at Otter Cove, Homer, Alaska. I only have one full day here, but I'm excited to find out just how much wildlife I can see in 24 hours. Joe knows this area like the back of his hand, and he's hoping to show me bald eagles, sea otters, and even humpback whales. I don't want to waste a minute. It's just after 4.30 in the morning. The sea is perfectly calm. The sun is rising. So we're heading out to see what we can see. One bird I'd love to see up close is the bald eagle. And Joe's taking me to a roost where he's confident we'll get some good sightings. All that noise, is that the eagles calling? That's the eagles. Yeah. All the eagles are so heavy in here. Roosts like these have a social purpose, allowing them to communicate with each other. There's literally dozens of eagles calling out there. And when I look closely, you can just see their white heads in the dark forest. Bald eagles roost together, and this secluded lagoon is perfect. Sheltered from the wind and teeming with pink salmon for an easy meal. I just can't believe how many eagles there are here. But I'm getting a really good shot of this one in the tree just in front of me. It doesn't seem faced by my presence at all. There's only non-breeding birds roosting here, across a range of ages. Adults whose chicks have fledged. Those that haven't bred this year. And youngsters still to mature. Juveniles are easy to spot. They won't have their characteristic white head until they're about three and a half years old. It's great to see a juvenile like this, but I'd love to see chicks in the nest. So it's time to head off. We head back out into the bay and we've got our eyes peeled. I could already see some eagles up there in the trees. Oh yeah. There's one Excellent, there. yeah. Got an eagle flying down here with some prey. Listen to that as well as another one calling. The calling is coming from a female in a nest, just what I wanted to see. And she's got two big chicks. They're fully feathered, so they're about 10 weeks old, and they'll be ready to fledge soon. They're cared for by both parents. The female spends most of her time around the nest while the male brings in food. But he's not far, a spot him perched just a few trees along. He's just landed in. This time he's brought some moss for the nest. Bald eagle nests are known as eyries and they're typically built high in tall trees. They'll often use the same nest year after year. The male soon takes flight, and the female isn't far behind, perhaps heading out to hunt too. Bald eagles eat a wide range of prey, but fish usually make up most of their diet. With so many fish in these bays, this is the perfect habitat for them. And the eagles aren't the only species making the most of the abundant seafood. So we had a great early morning trip. It's still only nine o'clock and we're heading across the bay here to see if we can see the sea otters. Sea otters are mustelids, part of the weasel family. 
they come together in groups called rafts, and it's quick to see how Otter Cove got its name. We've only been out a few minutes and already we've got otters all around us. It's just incredible here. There's about 10 otters in this raft, but rafts can have as many as a thousand individuals. Rafts are normally all one sex. And with pups here, this must be a group of females. In Alaska, pups are born in late spring. So these are only a few months old. Sea otters are known for being great mums, caring for their pups for up to a year, nursing them on high fat milk, close to that of seals and other mustelids, and keeping their pups on their chests to protect them from the cold water. We've made it out to the little islands and we're literally surrounded by sea otters. It's really rocky on the boat, so we're gonna try and get to landfall and see if we can film down off the cliffs. So I've just landed on an island and I've got three sea otters just around the corner here. One's fast asleep. And the other two are hunting. Sea otters eat a range of fish, mollusks and crustaceans. This one's chomping on a butter clam. This is absolutely incredible watching the sea otters from up here. I can actually hear them crunching on the shellfish when they come up. Sea otters are one of only a few species to use tools, using a favourite rock to crack open crabs, snails and shellfish. And once they're done, they keep this rock in a fold under their armpit so they don't lose it. Remarkable. So I've just got two up together at the moment. And they're both feeding. I love the way they spin. I don't know if it's to wash the food off as they eat or just for fun. So this one's swimming even closer to the island now. It's actually got a whole bunch of mussels off the seabed. That was absolutely incredible being on this island surrounded by sea otters. There's absolutely dozens of them out there. But Joe's come to pick me up, so I'm just heading off the island. As we head back out to sea, there's still one more species I'm dying to see. Soon we get our first sign there might be whales around. So it's great, we can see all these gulls diving in here. I haven't seen the whales yet, but usually they're right here with the seagulls. And it's not long before we get our first sighting. Not one, but two humpback whales surface right next to the boat. So this place is absolutely incredible. We just came across these humpback whales and I can just see them now traveling out into the distance. Whales need to resurface to breathe air. I spot them spouting by the shoreline. When they travel at speed, they stay close to the surface to breathe more easily. This is known as porpoising. This is quite incredible. We're filming some whales. One's just come up there and I've started breaching. Whales use their powerful tail fin to launch out of the water. You can't quite believe it, we're now filming three whales and they must have breached over 25 times now. It's an incredible feat. Humpbacks can be 17 meters long and weigh up to 30 tons. Research suggests breaching and tail slapping may be social sounds, helping groups of whales communicate over long distances.
These three are traveling in a small group known as a pod. I think we've got a female and calf, joined by another whale. The whales look as if they're heading away. Well, that was just absolutely incredible, wasn't it? Amazing. <laughs> absolutely amazing. Do you see stuff like that? <laughs> Every day. Every day, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Go on. laughs> That was absolutely just incredible. I mean, what did we have? 25, 30 breaches? At least. At least. Unbelievable. Amazing. The time here at the lodge at Otter Cove has been absolutely outstanding. In just 24 hours, we've seen nesting bald eagles, sea otter antics, and a once in a lifetime humpback whale display. We've only been here one day and we've seen so much. Look at that, I mean it looks like the sky's on fire out there. It's just incredible, isn't it? Unbelievable. Yeah, does this happen every night as well? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just been an incredible day. I mean, we've had a very short visit with you, but just remarkable what we've seen. What have we been out today? 18, 19 hours, sunrise to sunset. <laughs> How much better of a finish does it get than that? It's magical, isn't it? Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.